Hi everyone, it's Dr. Krad, and today I'm going to talk about how to save a lot of money on the light adjustable lens. The light adjustable lens, or LAL, is an awesome lens implant, but it's not cheap. Today I'm going to tell you how to get it for up to 50% off from any doctor. While there is no perfect lens, the precision of the light adjustable lens is second to none, especially when it comes to far distance vision. You are twice as likely to hit 2020 far vision without glasses with the LAL compared to any non-adjustable lens implant. That being said, it's expensive. I'm in Orange County, California, and the patient out-of-pocket cost at most practices, even with insurance, is about $5,000 for each eye. That's almost $10,000 for both eyes. Is it worth it? It's not for me or your surgeon to say. Your eyes are yours. I'm not going to be viewing the world through your eyes. But I will say this. There are people who spent thousands of dollars per tooth for a better smile, and you only got two eyes. But is it worth it? It depends on who you ask. Patients who value high-quality far vision day and night without glasses for the rest of their lives would think so. The LAL is not perfect, but there currently is no better or more precise option if you want to see far without glasses after cataract surgery, especially if one has had LASIK before. But the reality is that price is too much to spend for a lot of people. Is there a way to get a huge discount on the LAL? Is there a way to get almost an identical outcome to the LAL at half the price? For the patient without significant astigmatism, about half a point or less, and if you are open to the idea of monovision, where your dominant eye is set to see far away without glasses, and your other non-dominant eye is set to see near without glasses, then you can save a lot of money with the following strategy. Consider getting the light adjustable lens for your far distance eye and a monofocal such as the eye hands for your near eye. The eye hands is not as precise as the LEL, but it has a large landing zone and it does have some mild depth of focus. And near vision is very forgiving when compared to far vision. Let's say you wanted to read a book or your phone at the following distance and it was blurry. You can just shift it an inch or two to bring it into focus. You can change the text size even. It's very forgiving. However, if you're trying to read a street sign off into the distance, you can't change its position to see it more clearly. That's very unforgiving. That's why the LAL is more useful for far vision. And let's say you want good far vision in both eyes and you're just going to use reading glasses for up close. Ideally, the LAL would go in both eyes, but to save money, you can put the LAL in your dominant eye and a monofocal like the eye hands in your non-dominant eye. That way, if there's a slight blur, it's not as bothersome. This strategy may or may not save you office visits because you'll still need light adjustments after surgery, but you'll unlikely need glasses and it'll definitely save you a lot of money. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for tuning in. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.